Today we're going to learn about Lucidchart, and Lucidchart is a graphic organizing tool that is online, so you have access to it wherever you may be. We access it through our Google accounts, so I'm going to open up Chrome, click on my Gmail, and then I need to log in to my Google account. Once I've logged in, I'm going to notice the tabs at the top um, of my account. And I have different tabs, the search, images, drive, and I want to keep going over to the more tab. I'll select the more tab and I'm going to go down to Lucid Chart. Now I've already opened this program so my screen might look different than yours if you're opening it for the first time. I do recommend when you open Lucid Chart, it's going to prompt you to um, connect your account to Google Drive and I recommend that you do that. Once you have it open, um, there's lots of things that you can notice. You have a folder that's here, it's your My Documents. You can share documents, much like in Google Drive. And you can create. So right now, we're going to create a document. And I'm going to click on the Create button. I'm going to go ahead and say New Document. And you then have lots of things you can choose from. But for our purposes today, I want to just show you some basic things. So I'm going to choose a blank um, template here. So I'm going to choose a blank flowchart. And as we wait, it opens up. And then there's some tools to notice on the side. You've got drag and drop, click to drag and connect, and then a third one. The first thing you need to do is give your um, Lucid chart a title. So I'm going to go ahead and just say my family. And we'll do a basic chart here. So I'll say OK. So this now gives your, your document a title. And if you need to go back to where we just were, this is the button that you would use. You have lots of different um, things available to you in here. You can set up your Google Drive preferences. You, if you did not set this up for Google Drive, you could later export your work to Google Drive. Um, and if you ever decide you want to change the name of your document, you can come here. This would be a great place for you to kind of just move through and see the different tools that you have available to you off of this menu bar. Um, so as we move through, we see the different things that we, we have. Over here is a place where you can come and choose a theme for your document. Um, you can also put shapes on your document and you can type in them. So I'm going to go ahead and start with, let's just do this one, Terminator. And I can double click in there and I'm going to say my family. And I'll do buy. Oops, let's double click in my box. And I'm going to hit a return key. Oops, when I buy Mrs. Chapman. I can change the shape of my box, how long, big it is, how small it is. And I can move it around when I have the four arrows. I can also come up here and put a fill color in my box. If you notice right now, there's no color in the box, but I can choose my own color. I can choose a line color that I want to be around my box. I can choose the thickness of that line that I want around my box. Okay, so let's add some more shapes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do some triangles. I'll do this one for my mom. And then I'll do another triangle for my dad. And now I want to link those items. So I can come over here and I can drag a link and point it to my mom. And I can add this link wherever I want it to go. And I think I want my dad to come out of that same area. I can then still move these around. You'll see my links move around with them. I can also change the size of these triangles so that they're not quite as large. And then I can change what color goes inside of them. So this is kind of just a basic um, way to get started in Lucidchart. Um, but something else that's neat to know, you have this area where you can click on and change the theme of your document. So you don't have to choose the colors you want. They'll already do that for you. But if you notice, if you've changed something, it's going to stay that way. In the themes, you have some that have curvy um, lines, links, or you have some that have straight links. Did you see how my links changed on my document? Let's do this one so you see what happens. So this is 
based on that theme. But if you don't like that, you can always come and um, click on them and, and delete them. If you choose you don't want an item, you can just click the delete key on your screen on your keyboard and it will go away. I do want you to notice this right here. It says all changes saved. As you are working, the changes will keep happening here on your screen. So this is basically how you can get started in Lucidchart. When you're done, if you want to hit save just because it makes you feel more comfortable, you're welcome to do that. But you um, uh, can go ahead. I think this is enough information for you to begin the project we have in class today. And I'm looking for you to add your parents. The directions are on our middle school writing page, so you can go ahead and take a look at the full directions. But these are some basic ways that you can use Lucidchart.